Widow and Captain America make such an awesome pairing in this film simply because they both come from extremely different moral backgrounds. Obviously, Black Widow kind of sees the world in shades of gray. Captain America sees it more black and white. But I'm curious, do you think that she has a certain level of respect for the way he still maintains his worldview? Um... I think that the Widow has a lot of respect for Cap and the way that he does things. Um, you know, especially by the end of the film, of sure. course, because in the beginning, I think she's sort of looking at him as kind of this kind of idealistic character that sort of, you know, maybe needs to uh, um, needs to be schooled a little bit on the sure. ways that, uh, you know, it all works. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, she's saying to him things like, hey, you know, we have all got our special interests. We're all doing our, our job here. My job is different than your job. Mm -hmm. You know, and then, of course, when they come to discover that they actually both have you know, even though Natasha may be more comfortable being a part of the lie, mm -hmm. um, they don't want to be lied to. <laughs> Neither yeah, one of these characters right. wants to be sure. lied to. Like, I can lie to other people, just don't lie to I me. Do. <laughs> um, and, you know, because of that, you know, the journey that that kind of takes them on, this quest to find the truth, um, I think in the end they have a lot more respect for the way that one another, sure. you know, kind of, so the, the, the kind of direction that they're coming from and how they see things. Totally. And just in your approach to the character, I mean, the way that we've seen Black Widow, she first came in through Iron Man 2, then Avengers, Black Widow, or I'm sorry, and then Captain America. So it's a three different contexts, and we see three different kind of versions or views of this character. Does your approach change with each time out? Um, you know, one of the things that I try to, uh, you know, keep um, as a constant is really that this character is a kind of a reluctant superhero. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's being put in this situation, and by situation I mean working for S.H.I.E.L.D., right. um, <laughs> you know, because of a kind of series of circumstances that got her there, but let's not forget she's a mercenary to begin with, right. and that's that's really where her, her past is. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and certainly she got into that without really, you know, having a choice. Um, and so this is her fate, you know, mm -hmm. it's kind of brought her to this point. And even though we, I've worked with different directors, you know, she's in different installments and, and, and whatnot, I wanted to keep her storyline you know, consistent that the things that happen in Cap Two, her relationships, her relationship with Cap, with with Nick Fury, um, you know, are in tandem with you know what we've seen of her in the past, mm -hmm. and you know that's going to continue on to Avengers. And I mean, you mentioned uh, the character's past, which is an incredibly rich history, and this movie only put like puts that history more at the forefront. Are we going to st start seeing some consequences, like seeing her past come back to haunt her a little bit? I think in Avengers too, you see a lot of the characters past come back to haunt them um, you know in one way or another and that's a nice little nice little like piece that. of insight for you there <laughs> you can take it and run with it but uh, you know it's definitely um, these characters have very specific past and a lot of them are really dark and a lot of them are again uh, past that they didn't necessarily kind of carve out for themselves sure. um, you know there's a lot of uh, different elements at play there and um, it's about time that they caught up with us huh? <laughs>